It's going to be one of those vintages, 2012 is going to be one of those vintages that people really start to respect the Northern Michigan red wine, I think. Uh, the Pinot Noir varieties, the Cabernet Franc varieties, the, uh, the Merlot uh, types of wines that are made out there in a region like this can benefit so much from a, of a long, sunny, warm growing season. You heard it from the winemakers themselves. Thanks to a dry, hot summer, this year's wine harvest is looking top notch, especially for reds. Grapes like to struggle. Pretty much a drought, a drought summer is, is showing itself in the fruit right now. 45 North and Black Star Farms have just started this year's harvest, and they like what they see. The dry conditions led to smaller grapes on the vine, which translates to more concentrated, bold flavors. Looking for a ratio of skin to, to pulp or flesh, <clears throat> and the higher skin to flesh ratio that we have here in Northern Michigan, especially, um, the more tannin structure we're going to have with the smaller grape and the less moisture in the grape, we're going to have a little bit more of an intense wine at the end. A common problem that winemakers in northern Michigan run into is a high level of acid in the grape. But the lack of rain this summer and long stretches of heat dramatically drop the amount of acid. And that means a smoother red wine. It's all about balance. It's all about how the fruit, how the fruit and the alcohol and the acid balance out. We're blessed this year to have the acids are falling early as the sugars are rising early. So we're kind of we're kind of going into harvest at a balance anyway. So as these winemakers prepare to bottle some of their best red wines of all time, they're saying cheers to Mother Nature for a prime growing season. It's just a pleasure to be making wine in a climate like this, in a beautiful state like this, and. Uh, it's great to see uh, so many people coming up and, and really looking into what it is that we're doing. Uh, I say this an awful lot, but you don't have to go to, to California to visit wine country.